Hey everyone, it's Jane Raymond, and we're back to Octopath Traveler. We're about to start Cyrus's quest. Let's talk, let's talk look around town first, though. Wait. Wow. <laughs> okay. That was an 80% chance of doing it. I still failed. So what is on town here? Glaive, staff. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like, um... Stabs aren't. Uh, looks like he can, in fact, use stabs, but he can also use lances. <clears throat> Alright, uh. Sturdy shield. I lose elm defense on that. That's not a Ma's price, it's nothing. I think I'll keep hold on to that though. Black cap. This bit of physical defense is actually fine. I got it that time. Alice Den Palace Gate. Nope, Cyrus just stands outside. This out here lies the cast town. It's like a place. It's a lively place. Yeah. So stay out here to talk to Cyrus. Sure 
always ring. Leave, let me get in. Yeah, they will let me go in. And there's nobody here to talk to. <clears throat> Maybe I can't do it unless I have Cyrus. Alright, well, come along, Cyrus. Same as Cyrus, and he's a scholar. He is at last um, nestled in the fertile plains of Flatlands. It's home to the Royal Academy where many a scholar lies night and day, studies night and day, to bring the light of knowledge to the royal family and to all the realm. <clears throat> he passes his days in the halls of the great lib library, devouring tomes to his heart's content. It is in that top library where he learns of a grievous theft, certain that one of his fellow scholars is the culprit. Cyrus sets out alone to confront the man in a shy subterranean study. He made wise allies in the path he has chosen. Yes, please. And so that I'll stand with sound at some two seconds. Oh. Same one that now, who can tell me its name? How about you, Teresa? <laughs> I um I think it was No. No need to get all busted. There's no shame in not knowing an answer as long as you have a desire to know. It must have been I think it was um Is that the same one that Olbert's from? It's showing the the southern the southern area, which is where Yep. Oh, but look at the time. 
Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. Don't forget to read chapters three and four before our next lecture. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. Yes, Professor. Thank you for another most stimulating lecture, Professor Albright. Two princesses. Hello. Tis lucky day you've been granted permission to enter the special archives. <clears throat> Splendid. If I can begin my research. <laughs> So what is he equipped with? I'm gonna assume he can use lances and nope, he's just it's just staves. Just staves. Skills are Fireball, Ice, Lightning Bolt. So yeah, he's got all the he's got all three elements. And staves. So I was saying, please, please proceed if you want, want to visit. There's so many chests down there, I bet I can't get them yet. And she, the other girls are running off now. So who's the other girl? I guess she's not a princess. Even though she's in the royal castle.
Oh. Can I go back in? I can. And one more. I turn to the the turn to the flame. Of course, of course, they're gonna have information on that too. He's a schoolboy. <laughs> He keeps saying, my dear, is he, he's not a player, is he? Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow. My sincere apologies, Master. It won't happen again. Is there anything else you need of me? That is all. You may go. And wait! There was one last thing. Sir? I heard the special archives will be closing early. <coughs> research to do I would do so quickly. He already he, he's gonna call you with that to begin with. What is he what is she saying? It is not so. Actually, a hole. <laughs> and this is what it meant to be solved. So what is this deal with that uh, girl Therese? Yes, Sherlock.
Scrutinize and glean your knowledge from the townspeople. Age 41, test me. Of course I got a key to the archives. No, I wasn't sleeping. I was resting my eyes. It is all, but even if I was sleeping, what would it matter? What kind of fool about a sting worth a stone anyway? There's a sign blocking my way. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, it's down there. So this is our dungeon this time. You know, Phil, I have a key to special archives. Now, I would never be foolish to let fall wrong hands. In any event, I have no idea. To, I, have, I have had no reason for fears of someone's quite some time. Okay. The dust gap plant says he has not used it lately. So I trust to my research. Here, okay, so I haven't got that. I'm not surprised one sold to home, considering what they're worth. I've got death myself, so I understand the, the temptation. He also the value of tomes is burned with debt to boot. Only Headmaster Yvonne and the guard stage outside should have a key yet to library archives. Messed on the guard. But of course. The guards. There is key. Saint Lotwin's office room where he hasn't visited the archives today. I had the guards been acting especially late, even sleeping while on active duty. It'll be all too easy a task to lift its key, the key off its person. Uh, you have no motive. Russell. <laughs> One answer. Indubitably. <laughs> My logic is foolproof. Shall we begin? Oh boy. I think it's time to do some fewer my own. Well, I guess that's the introduction to uh, <laughs> Cyrus' storyline. And so I have to take upon myself to investigate this suspicious scholar. Interesting coming along, are you? It seems you have quite the curious streak yourself. Of course, my mysteries only exist to be solved. After all, it's the most important to remember that. Oh, but there I go again. Don't let me talk your ears off. But I will be glad for your help. 
Let's go to this then. No, we'll find Russell's laboratory down below. Yep. And now I can actually now I can inquire people too. Scrutinize. Once the target petted the king, the guards for the suit's leg and was since transferred to a calmer post side the grounds. There's an injury healed long ago. He hasn't mentioned it to anyone. Enjoys the serenity of his post. Huh. Weird. Okay, so so if you can screw these people, you can actually get items for it too. Okay, and that's it for Cyrus's introduction. Our next goal is to complete Cyrus's chapter one in the next episode of Octopath Traveler.